Hi, Angelica here, the 3D Printer Girl from 3dprintertech.com. And today I'm going to show you how to print Mickey Mouse on the Mendel Max um, 3D Printer Kit with 1.75mm ABS filament glue and a Woodish nozzle hot end. Okay, so let's see how our Mickey Mouse turns out. Okay, so um, now we're going to um, clear off our plate with an emulsion I've made with um, acetone um, and ABS, some ABS plastic. Okay, so let's wipe our plate down. And what this is going to do is clean off the plate of any debris left over from your last print or any, you know, dust or anything like that. And also, um, specifically to keep our print from warping. Or coming off the plate or anything like that. So it's, it sticks to the plate a lot better. Okay? And so I always do that before my first, my first print of the day. Okay, so our screen here is just showing that it's um, heating up. You know, the plate's heating up. It's going to be, it should be mm -hmm. homing soon. Okay, so right now it's skirting. This is just to get the filament situated. Um, you know, so it starts um, taking it out easily for the print. Now I've, did, I've programmed it to skirt twice. Now this is a tricky print because it basically stands on, you know, the feet, the little feet, and then it'll start printing the legs. They're, they're like two little pegs that holds up the rest of the weight up top, the body and the head. So I really have to keep an eye on this. And, and this is the advantage of having the LCD screen because you can control your, your speed. So if you need to slow down because it's lifting, you know, you, you, have, you can do that. I've slowed it down even more to 30% now. Okay, so right now we're 4% completion. We've been printing for 8 minutes. And that Z, 2.70, that's the height. So we're now at 3 uh, millimeter high off the plate. Okay, printing at 30% speed rate off of the 100% from how we originally sliced it. And this is what it looks like.
Okay, so um, it's basically closed down the feet. The feet is finished. We're at um, uh, 22% completion, 38 minutes in print, uh, 12 millimeter high. And we're getting to the tricky part where I'm going to need to slow down my speed because this is what I was talking about earlier about the legs being pegs that holds up the rest of the weight from the top, from the top body. Okay, so we're at 30% speed rate based off the 100% how we, however we sliced it. Um, right now I'm going to slow it down to 20 at first, but I'm going to keep my eye my eye on it to make sure that um, you know it's it's printing correctly or you know how I'm satisfied with the print itself. Okay, so right now we're at 41% completion. We've been printing for an hour and 14 minutes, still at 18% speed rate. Okay, if you notice, that green light just went on right there. Okay, that's the heat bed sensor. Um, with our particular kit, you'll, you know, it's an advantage when you see that the heat bed is uh, working. It's trying to maintain the the temperature at 110, 110 degrees. So when that light turns off, it means it's at 110 degrees. But every time it turns on, it means it's working. It's on and trying to keep the heat up. Okay. So as you can see, the light went off. It's uh, actually right now. It's uh, it's we we have it set at 110 and it's at 111. That's why you know it went off. Okay, it went down to 109 and the light went back on. Pretty neat. Okay, so right now at 42%, it's printing the torso and the rest of the hand. Okay, so I, if I mean if I were you, I would just hit that with a fan. Just this little piece right here where it connects the other arm into the body. Wow, look at that. Nice, huh? And that's all because of the LCD smart controller. If we were printing this on a printer without that LCD, just a regular printer hooked up to your computer, there is no way you can control that speed in the middle of a print. It, you would have, have already um, set that up on the, on the slice, on the original slice.
and that's why I am in love completely in love with this LCD smart controller and this is the thing about the LCD smart controller um, other people seem to think it's a you know an add-on but for me especially for prototypers it's a must because you know when you're when you have a an item you're pro trying to prototype you, you don't want to keep slicing it and slicing it you know you want to be able to control it right at the first after the first slice and you're printing you want to be able to control it see where you need to make changes and all and that's where the LCD smart controller com comes in you know it's just convenient even not for prototypers even for you know other industries and or whatever you're printing okay so this is where it starts to print the ears out okay as you can see right there right there on the edge right there you can see where the ear is forming so what I did is uh, I lowered down the speed once again to 12% see how that looks uh, and um, the ear started at 86% completion so we're almost there Okay, I'm gonna bring it even slower down to 10%. Okay, you can also hit that with the fan. You know, that's up to you. Right now, I'm holding the camera, so I can um, hit it with the fan. But I did lower the speed, so that should help. Print complete. Three hours and 32 minutes. So, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is printed on a 0.3 uh, millimeter height. Okay. And you just witnessed it. I, I could make it finer, make it 0.1, but I didn't have to clean it up after the print. You just witnessed it. I didn't have to do anything. Okay, so this is how it turned out on our on the printer we used with the LCD smart controller. Now I have one that I printed on a regular printer, same slice settings, but um, you know there's no way to control um, the speed setting. So, you see the difference. See the difference? That's what it looks like on a regular printer with no, you know, um, where you can't control it. And this is what it looks like with the LCD smart controller.